Now that we have our model check column in place, I've been spending some time pulling our rough animation more on model. I have my model view open over here as a visual reference, and I also have a copy of the character model on, on a layer that I can just toggle on and off as I need to for visual reference as I work. And of course, I don't have my little light table turned on yet. That's the light bulb down in the bottom left-hand corner of our camera view. If we click that on, you'll notice every other layer except for the layer that you are working on grays out, washes out, so that we can focus. And I also have my thumbnails shown in my timeline. Just click the little hide and show thumbnail icon right over here to help give us more visual representation of where we are in time. And we also have our X sheet showing. So let's get to it. I changed her eyes in the previous video. I had her eyes open, but I decided to keep them closed while she jumped. And now we're trying to get some of the details in there. Make sure that she is properly on model. And one thing we can do to help with that process is one of my favorite functions in Harmony is shift and trace. And we do shift and trace by going to the X sheet. We can click on any particular drawing. In my case, drawing number 31. I'm going to right click on my stylus. I'm going to go down to send drawings to desk. Now, where is the desk, you may ask. I'm going to click that. And if I go to my drawing view, You'll notice that over here there's an extra little table that has opened up on the left hand side. This is our desk. And this is allowing us to draw, rip drawings, so to speak, from our X sheet temporarily. And we're just going to stash, it will stash them over here in our desk. So while we're here, well, let's step back out to our camera. We need a little bit of visual rep reference first. So we have a frame of reference. Let's try and thin this out a bit more. And I believe this goes a little more like that. And again, the purpose of the model check column is to help pull our character on model and to find little details. There, now we have a little bit more of a frame of reference of what exactly is going on here. Why don't we go back into our shift and trace our desk over here. Now the problem is we just have one drawing here. It's by itself. So we need to add another drawing to it. Um, why don't we show our model? And I want to show you a trick. Of course, this mo girl model column I just showed that was hidden um, you know, if we right click, we can go to send drawing to desk or add a drawing to desk. Either one of those will work. But as a little shortcut, if you hold down Alt and just click, it will add it automatically to the desk. You'll see it appeared. And also, while we're talking about our desk, uh, I said everything over here was kind of temporary. So we can also use these arrows over here at the bottom of it to just temporarily move the, the order of them. You'll see that we can change the order of the drawings if we wish to. Uh, and now we need to use our onion skin so we can see things. Now we can see right now that our model is kind of huge, right? Well, let's turn on shift and trace. I'm going to draw your attention to a couple icons that are up here at the top. The first one is enabling shift and trace. That just turns it on and off. And the next one over is shift and trace manipulator. So we click that guy and you'll see that well, this may look familiar to you if you're a traditional animator. It looks like a peg bar. If we were to click and drag in the middle here, you can see we're moving our drawing. If we grab these manipulators, it allows us to rotate it. And right now, the ones we may be a little bit more interested in are these ones on the ends. Either end will work. Allows us to scale our drawing down and I'm going to exaggerate this for the purposes of a demonstration. If I scale this down really, really tiny, again, I want to reiterate everything we do in shift and trace is temporary. So if I go out to the camera view, she's her normal size. Everything is temporary. So now she's too tiny. Let's talk about the next button over here at the top of our shift and trace 
toolbar here, a little mini toolbar. If you were hovering as usual, you get a little tool tip. It says shift and trace reset. If we click that, voila, puts it back to our normal size. So what I want to do here is I want to just, let's check her head proportions. That's kind of Scale her down. I'm just trying to eyeball this a little bit. I'm looking at the trunk of her body too. That's, and she is bending over. So let's make sure we scale that down a bit more. So something along those lines. I'm gonna rotate her head a little bit. And what I'm looking right now is at the bottom of her chin. Like I'm using that as my visual cue, so to speak. And I'm rotating this just a tad. And now let's just zoom in. Then we can turn our manipulators back on again and we'll fine tune it a little bit. And yes, it looks like her head is a little big, huh? So we can go back up to our drawing. And I'm going to just erase just a little bit. And let's just pull her features on model. I'm going to shift back over to my brush and I'm going to kind of trace off of her model just a little bit here. There we go, great. If we want to remove these drawings from the desk, we can do it um, individually we can just right click over here we can hit remove the selected drawing or we can click remove all drawings and that will remove them all from our desk our desk goes away we can go back into our camera view let's hide her goodbye let's find our there we are there's our drawing drawing number 31 is where we were and we can continue about our business of getting her in there. And that is how we use Shift and Trace with our model check column to help keep our animation and character on model.